I think we can start with the Q&A session. Uh, I'll start off by asking Srinidhi to share her screen and we can try to help you out with what is causing the problem. Uh, we can try a few alternate ways to open the iPython shell. Uh, but otherwise, in case anyone else has questions, please drop them in the chat and we can answer them one by one. Thank you. Hi. So, uh, if you can tell me what the problem is and you can unmute yourself and ask how to solve it. Uh, I saved it. I saved it here. Can you see the? Yes. I saved it here. It's under a document called Python. Okay. But then, when I open my um, I'll launch it again. It says it can't find my directory. Okay. So um, I do can this. You Show me where you are trying to run this and where does it show you that you can't find the directory? Your shell screen. I can't okay. see that screen. Oh, uh, okay, one more. Yes. Can I do it here? Uh, so when you press IPython, what does it, can you press enter? I'm, okay, so I enter it. Right. Uh, so you want to run, okay, sorry. So this is the IPython shell. We'll just run single command here, obviously. Yeah. You can press Control G and exit now. I think Control you want to run G. the file, right? That is what. Yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, can you try Control D or exit? Okay. Okay. Can you just say exit? That's it. Uh, so can you tell me where you save that file? Which uh, which folder? Which path? Do you know where it is? It's on my. Uh, it's under documents. And then okay. in that, there's a file called Python. It's there. Okay. Um, so can you copy it? Maybe. So what happens is uh, okay. your command line shell that you can see right now in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the. Uh, you can see a like a sentence on the left saying C colon slash user slash del user whatever. Yeah, yeah. That that is the current location where your shell is pointing towards so okay it is pointing to your user folder which is somewhere in your if you look at your windows explorer you should be able to find the folder with the same path right okay. uh, what you can do is you can copy your file to the desktop if you want to run that okay and then you can uh, in your shell you can Type in cd space desktop with a capital D. That will change the pointer of your shell or your terminal to the desktop. And then you can say Python space file name, etc. Okay. So uh, on, alternatively, can you can, alternatively, you can also type in Python space the full path of your file. So if you right click on your file and do properties, you should get the full path. Give it the full path and see if that works. You can try it now without sharing your screen if you are not comfortable and then let me know and I'm still online and can help you if it still doesn't work. Okay, thank you. For folks who join later on in the day, uh, just wanted to repeat because a few people are still asking. Uh, a lot of, the, uh, quite a few sessions will happen on Yaksh. Uh, instructions on how to enroll on Yaksh which course to follow, which modules to follow is all provided to you in the final email that you received uh, yesterday. Uh, you will have, you're supposed to follow along the schedule. The schedule link is in the chat. Uh, in, the, in the schedule, you will see that there are some sessions that are labeled as pre-recorded or recorded on Yaksh. Those are the ones that you have to follow on the Yaksh platform. Once you're done with those on the Yaks platform, you will then can attend the live sessions that will happen in the afternoon, which will happen in the Zoom setup here. The reason that we are doing some pre-recorded sessions is that they contain basics or the, the, the base that you require before starting Django. They're also taught by our professor, Professor Prabhu Ramachandran, and he cannot be present here to run them live, which is why we run them 
on a pre recorded basis but rest assured we also run live sessions in the afternoon and tomorrow as well dr anand kulkarni uh, it looks like you have a syntax error in your uh, temp.py file in your editor it seems to be pointing to line number 3 so can you please have a look at line number 3 to see if there's some sort of a syntax error uh if you can't spot it we can try to help you you can paste the code here and we can try to help you also yes, what the uh, i am trying yeah it is saying line space is not defined which uh, header files i need to include here i mean any package is required to be included in the program uh could be uh, can you please first check if your line space is spelled as lin space which is without the e is that correct uh just some minutes sir let me try l needs to be yeah it is it is lin space and not line with an e the e is it's lin yeah that is is that correct i mean that is not yeah. true right no what it is saying it is not defined i mean if it is not defined some uh, header file kind of a thing is required to be added where uh, so, this space is defined uh, are you so what you can do is uh instead of saving this to a file yeah you can run this in an ipython shell are you using an ipython shell Let's yeah i am no no i am you but uh, it is available with me na in this spider correct so in the ipython shell you can type in percentage pylab the same problem sir i mean i am not using ipython i am using uh, the spider wherein uh, the command prompt is there correct so in the spider command prompt where the yeah. ipython Uh, prompt is waiting for you to type. Can you please type in percentage pylab? I've typed it in the chat. Percentage. P y l a b. Percentage symbol followed by P y l a b. Yeah. Then shall after I try? After that, after that, can you try lin space or some initial command? Uh, make Haan, sure it's that it's worked now. It's worked. But the question is, sir, do I need to include the same uh, thing in the script also? uh in scripts what happens is uh, i think so uh so this is taught to you in later modules um, that in scripts you need to import the specific dependencies that you need um so in scripts it's a little different you can't use percentage pylab you have to import the specific modules and then run your script also just a note uh, i think so you're following the numpy Uh, modules i don't think you specifically need to do those at this moment as as a prerequisite for what we are going to learn you can you can follow them or do them later on if you want to but uh, it will save you more time if you just follow those specific modules that i have we have specified in the schedule link the schedule link is in the chat if you want to have a look so basic data types control flow and core data structures are the major modules that you need to cover you can do these numpy related ones or the plotting related ones later if you want uh, hello uh, see i have completed the basic data types so now how where do i get that control uh, that control flow and all the next modules uh, it is if you if it, in the, in the same flow there are modules down below so i think so basic data types comes first uh then there could be some intermediary modules in between maybe but if you scroll down through the whole course plan you will see the that the, there are modules down below as well so uh see i am uh, actually i am getting basic data types as the last module in my list i am getting uh, saving scripts plotting lists numpy arrays all those at the top and basic data type is coming at the bottom okay let me see what the course structure looks like one second Just give me a minute and I'll check. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So basic data types is one of the modules. I think so. Control flow is immediately after that. Uh, are you not able to see it or? No, I cannot see it. I am seeing basic data type as the last module. Okay. And previous to it, uh, to it that I am seeing uh, that uh, I buy the notebooks. Can you uh, can you go to your home page and just confirm which course you have enrolled in? 
this PMM NT two day Python Django preliminary November twenty twenty two. Correct. So that is the preliminary course which is supposed to be completed before you attended the course. Uh, okay. There's one more which is uh, if you go to your page and type in the uh, uh, the course code that I had already specified. One second, I'll repeat it here if you want me to. Yeah. This is the course that you are supposed to be following. I typed it in the chat. The course code is the same, Django NOV prelim. But yeah. you are supposed to follow the FOSSE two-day Python and Django course day one for today. Similarly, there is a day two course for tomorrow. So you need to start with day one. So if you are done with uh, basic data types, it is the same content. That is fine. Just enroll okay. for this particular course, and then you will be able to find the other modules. That is control flow. Functions, etc. So now I'll put a name and check the whole. So you will have uh, to put in the course code and check, not the name. Course code in the search bar, you will find three courses. One will be preliminary, one will be day one, one will be day two. Okay, okay. Just let me check. Okay. Uh, this is Keka. I yes. made that one mistake. Actually, there was a quiz was there in the uh, data structure there, Correct. right? So I opened that and then I saw it is 45 minutes. Then I thought that I will not permit. So I left it thinking that I'll do it afterwards. But post probably it is one fine. time. Okay. That's fine. So it's fine. Um, it is one time, but okay. but it's okay. You can skip it. It's afterwards, okay. can you, if it's possible, like after the workshop so that I can practice at least? Uh, uh, enabling that? If possible, just yes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try to see if I can re, re enable uh, Then that. can practice it once. You know, don't want sure. to miss it. Sure. Thank you, sir. So, Sinidhi, uh, you can save it via Notepad. That's fine. You just have to save it as a .py file. That is one. Secondly, uh, when typing in the Python space file name, you need to type in Python space the full path of the file name followed by the file name also. So, Python space c colon slash my folder slash desktop slash my file dot py that is how your command will look and it should run if it still doesn't run we can try other ways maybe we'll try to move your terminal to that particular location or something but uh, can you please try first typing in the full path of your file that you've saved which is your dot py file so technically the q a session is done uh, you don't have to stay around particularly for this uh, in case you do not have any other questions you can start off with the remaining modules so according to the schedule it is control flow and followed by core data structures uh, so in case you are on track you can start with these modules or you can continue with the module that you are actually going through right now one secondly uh, the attendance has already been circulated I hope everyone has signed up on the attendance. Uh, this will be closed off uh, in like five or 10 minutes from now. So no other requests for signing the attendance after this will be entertained. In case you know someone who is not present in the session right now, please just let them know that the attendance has been circulated. Just, just ask them to attend the session for now, sign up for the attendance and then move back to the course material. Like I already mentioned, uh, the next session, that is the next live session, will be at 2 p.m., which is the Django installation and environment setup. Before that, you are supposed to ideally complete control flow and core data structure. Please try to complete them. In case they are not complete, that is fine. Please just come to the live session at 2 p.m. and you can complete the pre-recorded sessions later on. They will always be available. Uh, excuse me, uh, that basic data type now and I enrolled into the course in that, uh, that day one course or basic data type that it's, it's not showing that I have done this. Yes, because this is because this is a separate course. Your okay. tracking will not show up here because this is now a new course in, in reference to the platform. But it okay. is fine. It is the same content. You don't yeah. you don't need those yeah. check marks for the completion uh, formula. You can move yeah, to yeah. the next. Okay. Model. Okay. Okay. Thank you. In case you folks have any other questions, please just leave them in the chat. 
and I'll try to answer them or you can try screen share. Otherwise, uh, you can continue, you can mute this session and move on with your session in Yaksh. Thank you.